now that we understand relationships, let's see how we can apply that to our ERD using Microsoft Visio 2010. I am Bob Dust, an associate professor at Reynolds Community College. In a one-to-one -one relationship, we put the primary key of the one table in the other table. For example, a state has only one capital, and a capital is the capital for only one state. This is a one-to-one -one relationship. Wife to husband and support ticket to resolution are also examples of one-to-one -one relationships. Bob's rule for one-to-one -one relationship says to put the primary key of one table in the other table. Also set the cardinality in Visio to 1, 0. Bob's rule. Let's review one-to-many relationships. One entity, for example, can have many sales orders, but each sales order is for only one customer. Another example of one to many says that a team has many players, but each player plays for only one team at this time. Let's Bob's rule for one to many relationship says to put the primary key of the one table in the many table. A customer has many sales orders, so sales orders is the many table. Each sales order has only one customer, so customer is the one table. Using Bob's rule, we place the primary key of the one table, customer ID, and the many table, sales order. In a many to many relationship, a row in one table can have many rows in the other table. A row in the other table can have many rows in the first table. For example, a customer, I'm sorry, a student can enroll in many classes, while each class can have many students enrolled in it. In another example, a sales order can include many parts, while a part can be in multiple sales orders. In Bob's rules for a many to many relationship, we create a third table called a bridge table. The primary key of the bridge table is the composite of the primary keys of the table, which means bridged together. In our student class example, the bridge table is named enrollment. The primary key of the enrollment table is the composite of the primary keys of the class and student table. In this example, class ID and student ID are the primary key of the enrollment table. Did you notice that the many-to-many -many relationship is actually two one-to-many relationships? A class has many enrollments. A student also has many enrollments. Each enrollment is for only one class and only one student. An enrollment row represents one student enrolled in one class. Now, do, do Bob's rules still apply? Let's see. Class is the one table in the class to enrollment relationship. So Bob's rule for one to many says to put the primary key of the one table, class ID, in the many table, enrollment. Hmm. Yeah, we appear to have done that. Note that it's okay that it is part of the primary key as long as it is in the many table. The same is true for student to enrollment relationship. The primary key of the one table, student ID, is in the many table, enrollment, again, as part of the primary key. Now in our next tutorial, we will learn about normalization.